Today we're heading to three fast food chains in New Jersey. And we're gonna show you everything we can eat vegan there. Should be a good one, it's been a while. These are very consumable. Nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. I like these better than Chipotle. It's bland, but like, it gets the job done. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. This is my favorite thing, yep. All right, we are back with another fast food taste test. I feel like this is our first one in six a to eight while. months. It's yeah. been a very long time. Currently in New Jersey, so we thought we would take advantage of us being here and go to places that we can't normally access in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, so we have three restaurants that we're gonna be going to that are not exclusively on the East Coast, just not in our area. The first place we are at, I wanted to do a video here for a long time. Uh, we're at White Castle, which is predominantly on the East Coast. I think there's one in Vegas. I've That's never been That's the closest White to us. So we are at White Castle. We just ordered, and I'll we'll show you what we got. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Hi, can I have uh, two Impossible sliders uh, with no cheese? Okay. Can uh, I add, add a, uh, lettuce and tomato to those? All right. And then uh, an order of fries. Thanks so much. Have a good one. So White Castle has impossible sliders. And if you have never been to a White Castle, they have these tiny burgers. Um, I've only ever had White Castle frozen from a grocery store. Not the same. Yeah. They're like sliders. Sure, they're babies. Yeah. There's a piece of plastic Sliders. A little slider. I didn't know that their patties were square. That really threw me off right now. I think that's a new thing. Weird. I've never seen that. Really? They look weird. So. It has the Impossible Burger. They don't have vegan cheese, but apparently they used to, right? That's what you were telling me? They used to have vegan cheese, yes. It I has, think look years the, ago. Look, we asked for lettuce, look. Look how many, look how much lettuce. We got like Quality. two pieces of lettuce, a uh, little baby tomato, and two pickles. And, and I think from what I understand- Oh, grilled onions on the Grilled bottom. onions. They cook things on a separate surface here doesn't really matter to us too much, but for people who are uncomfortable with shared, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure they do that. Don't hold me to it, but I'm, I think I read it somewhere at some point. It probably varies per location. So we've talked about cross contamination in a previous fast food video. If you want to check that out, we will link it down below. I don't want to go ahead Let's and try into this. it right now. Let's do it. Okay. We're not having cheese or mayo. There's no mayo, right? No mayo. I got scared. For not having <laughs> cheese or mayo. It's pretty good. It's not dry. No, it's not. I was nervous it was going to be dry, but it's not dry at all. It's actually a little mushy on the bottom. This is different from what I remember. I think the mushiness is the onion. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a hamburger. These are very consumable. Like, they're so small. Mm -hmm. You can eat it in, like, four bites. Yeah, it's not too much food, um, which I like. I was home for the holidays maybe three mm -hmm. years ago. And um, my brother and I tried to eat an entire Crave case to ourselves. Can you explain what Crave case is? Because I didn't know what it was before. Yeah, a Crave case is 30 of these. So, and my brother ended up eating like five. So it was a big disappointment. I had like sliders for like a week. Oh. Yeah. The meat is like crumbly a little. Yeah, it's different than like a normal Impossible burger would be, right? Maybe it's because they manipulate it to be square. Yeah. Does Impossible come, I don't is it, or is it just beyond? Does Impossible come in burgers and in like the brick? Ground, yeah. They're kind of different, right? So maybe they use the grounds to make this because it's square. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me if anybody Or knows. maybe Impossible like pre, like makes them differently for them. Brick I don't know. What's not bad? As someone who's never had White Castle before, just someone who's had hamburgers, this tastes like a hamburger and it's it's fine. Nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. The only thing unique about it is it's small and it's square. Yes, okay. wish they had vegan cheese. Do you have anything else to say about it? Cause you've had regular White Castle. It's pretty vegan, similar right? to what a White Castle slider would be. I don't get why Harold and Kumar wanted it so bad. They were, they had the munchies. Ooh, I like these kind of fries. Crinkle cut. Mm -hmm. Always reminds me of Del Taco. Mm-hmm. They just taste like fries. Solid fries. I would eat it again. I would it's eat just it again. Like solid. It's you know? whatever. It's not bad, but it's not out of the ordinary. And a pinch drunk food. Or like if you're on a road trip, 
that's cool. Okay. They're all over New Jersey too, so. Long live sliders. God bless sliders. So we are at spot number two. I don't think this is on the West Coast at all. I've never heard of it. We're at Moe's Southwest Grill. It's kind of like a Chipotle-esque, like Cadoba, Chipotle burrito bar kind of place. Um, they have organic tofu as a vegan protein. And I haven't had it in a long time. I used to go when I was in New Jersey or when I lived in New Jersey, I feel like I went pretty often. They have like a Mo Monday promotion where it's like $8.99 for a burrito and chips and salsa. Chips and salsa are free here, which is very cool. Mm. I got a burrito with tofu, with seasoned rice, pinto beans, tofu, grilled peppers, onions, mushrooms, pico de gallo, roasted corn, salsa, lettuce, cucumber, black olives, guac. All right, and then mine is a tofu bowl with cilantro lime rice, pinto beans, tofu, onions, peppers, mushrooms, pico de gallo, roasted, Corn pico, lettuce, cucumber, cucumber, cilantro, guac has dollar signs next to it, which I assume is extra. Red salsa. Dollar forty nine. And free chips and salsa. I like the packaging of this. Oh, too. that's cool. Like the little salsa right here. I think I ate here a lot when I was vegetarian, before I was actually vegan. Mm -hmm. I would get the tofu burrito. Chips are good. But I would get like the queso and stuff they had. I like these better than Chipotle. The Chipotle ones are salty. Mm. Or is it the guac that's salty? Well, is it chips, right? Yeah. Everything. This isn't too salty. It is so hot in here. It's very weird. Because yesterday it was so cold. Today is so hot. The weather here is... Bizarre. Bizarre right now. Okay, let's try all this. So... Mmm. Yeah, this looks like um, Chipotle to me. The tofu, it is cube tofu that is seasoned. Um, It's not crispy or anything. It's just like a soft tofu well like a firm tofu consistency but not like fried or like yeah. anything the tofu is fine this is cold yeah yeah the tofu is a little bland i'm a little sad about it but i'll take it still i'll try it i have tofu mm. in here but i'm not gonna be able to like the rice is so up. good i got the cilantro lime rice and i got the seasoned rice just to like get something different yeah yeah it's bland but like it gets the job done yeah like i'll eat it i feel like it's like a solid like go-to i don't know it's like Chipotle, but a little bit less flavorful. I feel like with all our fast food videos, we're always like, it's good, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. And I feel like that's just how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. We need to look at it in a different way. Right. For what this is. It's an option. It's, it's an option. It's packed with plant-based protein. It's packed with veggies. This is flavorful. Um, it's, I feel do. like it's better than going to like get a burger. Yeah. And this, this, you do get some sense of customization with this. So you can do black beans or pinto beans. You can do seasoned rice or cilantro rice. Those are red salsa or green salsa. So like, at least you have choices, you know? At some places, there's only like one default plant-based option, which is kind of annoying, but I appreciate that. And this place, it's very simple stuff. So I feel like they should have that. Hmm. It's like 10, good, it's ten ninety nine For all this? Yeah, and then it was $1.50 for guac, I think. So, not like outrageous, but... The guac is what's really cold, by the and way. And this is kind of filling. Um, yeah. I feel like this is like two meals. Well, this is a lot If of I'm food. really hungry, I can eat this, no problem, but... I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Better than yesterday. Yeah, I feel like it's more like hearty and satiating. Mm -hmm. It's solid. Not bad. It's exactly what I expected it to be. Me too. But I feel like if I had to choose between Moe's, Chipotle, or Cadoba, probably be Chipotle, Cadoba... Well, because, I guess they're different. Well, the reason why, in my opinion, Chipotle and Qdoba rank higher is because they have plant-based meat options. Right. But I feel like, as a base, they're all very similar. And they've been doing this for uh, since they opened. So yeah, like they're the OGs, I guess. This is like, like a simple having bowl. a tofu option. Or oh a really? A vegan protein. Oh okay. Well, like that's they cool. had it before Chipotle had Sofritas or mm -hmm. anything. So I don't like Sofritas. No, they're way too salty. Mm -hmm. Give me diarrhea. Also, they gave me a good good amount of guac. Final thoughts, I would get this again. Totally. Solid option. I would get this over Easy. White Castle. 100%. Yeah. Because it's more satiating, more flavorful, healthier, you know? Yeah, I'll feel better after I eat this mm -hmm. than after I eat, like, three sliders. And All you right. will eat three. I will. At least three. I feel like four is a meal. My sis. Oh, Third and final stop. Halal guys. Halal guys. We were kind of, we didn't know 
exactly where to go. So we were like trying to do as much research as we can. And it looks like the Halal guys has like expanded a ton over the past few years. Mm -hmm. There's one in a bunch of different states. Are they from New York? Originally, or do I'm you not know sure. I know there's one in LA. I don't know where they're from originally. But they, re I don't know. When I think of them, I associate it with the East Coast, but I don't know if that's correct. So it you can really let us good. know. It's um, basically like a Mediterranean place. They have falafel, hummus. They actually had a meatless. What is it? Hero? Hero. 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 Hopefully, you're saying it right. Um, I know it's not gyro. Don't that's say. how I used to say it. Me too. I'm um, embarrassed. They had one for a little while, and I think it was 2021, and they, I think it was like a limited time thing, and they had since gotten rid of it. I wish we got to try that. Mm -hmm. So They don't have this by us, so I'm really excited to try it. I don't think I've ever had Halal Guys. I never have either. Oh, really? No. I don't think they existed in New Jersey when I um, mm. lived there. So what did you order? This yes. is the falafel pita sandwich. I added hummus to it and olives along with cucumber. And it has lettuce and tomato on it. Oh, I added onion also. It looks very messy. Yeah, it looks like the wrapping is... It looks beautiful. beautiful, though. It looks very filling. I love this type of food. I love hummus. I love pita. I love falafel. So mm. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. Oof, oof. Yeah. And also, they have a white sauce that is not vegan. Um, just in case you didn't know. It has Ooh. eggs in it. That's really good. This is my favorite thing yet. Mm. We actually just had falafel last, last night. night. This is good. The one last night was better. So there's a place here. I think they've expanded right to a different state now, but it's called Mamoons. Yeah, they originated in New York. It's like a classic place. I feel like there's one in like St. Mark's Place is the original. There's one in Connecticut really, I mean, now. There's a few in New Jersey. Whatever. Try it out. But compared to that, I like that better. They're very similar. They are very similar, but. Maybe it's because of what we got. I've never gotten that, this at Mamun. This is really good, really fresh, really flavorful. Something like this always hits the spot for me. Like, I feel like you can't go wrong with this. Like, you know exactly what you're getting. Totally. Um, and you know it's going to be satisfying. Yes, I would eat I'm again. Like, I would, oh, like, shit. go here to, like, eat. The hummus is really good. They had a few different flavors of hummus. I think they had a roasted red pepper, a jalapeno hummus. So. This isn't something you eat in the car. Yeah, very messy. This is an example of what not to do because it is all over me. And they also have like plates. So if you don't want to wrap, they have like a falafel plate you can get. You can mm -hmm. get sides of falafel. Pretty good. This is oh, definitely the best thing we've eaten me. in this video. I personally like the bowl better. Wow. Yeah, but I like rice. Like I'm team rice all the way. And if if this was an option with like a falafel bowl with rice. I had that. I, I know, but I'm just saying like if we had that versus the other bowl, I think I would have picked this. But okay. Because of what we had, I like the other bowl better, but That's fair. it's just based on personal preference. So overall, I really enjoyed everything we got from our fast food um, video. Yeah, this was one of our fast more successful places today. Yeah, videos. Successful, flavorful, satisfying. White Castle's definitely at the bottom, but I feel like we knew that was going to be the case because they don't have plant-based cheese. Um, apparently, they used to. Hopefully, they add it back. But if you bring cheese yourself, I think it'll definitely elevate the. And like bring like a hair like a portable hair dryer yeah to like, to like melt, melt. The on. <laughs> or just take it home um but yeah if you've been to any of these places let us know how you like them um if there are any other fast food places that we've missed i think this is our a millionth fast yeah food video. we've tried so many different we'll places. put our playlist down, down below, below if you want to check out any of the other videos yeah we're as honest as possible in these videos so that you don't have to waste your money on any of these places and, and if you're on a road trip, you know where you to go. Our exactly. Yeah. Also, when Taco Bell comes out with the vegan steak, we'll definitely be yes. there to try that. They're testing that in a Ohio or something. Something random. I know. We we honestly had a split second of like, should we? Should we fly just out go and just try it? But and it wasn't financially. We were a little more rational. Sense. Yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of our channel. If you want to see more, consider subscribing down below. Leave a comment, say hey, and we will see you soon. Peace. Bye.